your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. As you are clapping your hands, we will be welcoming the children of Daddy and Mommy to the front. Clap your hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we clap our hands once more and we celebrate? Our beautiful mother, we want to say happy birthday to you today. We want to say, Mommy, we thank you so much for everything that you do for us. We thank you for the sacrifices that you have made for your children and for the church. We do not take it for granted. Thank you so much for the times that you've prayed for us when we didn't know that you were praying for us. For always being an ear that listens to us every time we, we want to say something. And you listen to us, you don't complain, mommy. You listen until we find our steady points and you are always there to redirect us to our true north our true calling, our true purpose in life, and we appreciate you for that. We love you so much, and mommy, we compare you every day with the Proverbs 31 woman, the woman after God's heart, the woman of virtue, the woman who sacrifices everything for her children, her family. And mommy, we've seen you doing it for this church. We've seen you doing it for each and every person. That is why we are celebrating you today. We celebrate the beautiful heart that you are and the many, many sacrifices that you've made for us. Even though it seems like we don't see or we don't appreciate, we want you to know that we do see and we do appreciate and we thank God for your life. And our prayer for you is that, Mommy, may you always get back the love that you give out and may God add unto you and multiply every single thing that you do, every tear that you have shed, every prayer that you have set out. May God give you all those blessings in return. Proverbs 31, 28 says, her children will rise and call her blessed. We stand today saying that, mommy, you are a blessing and you are blessed of God and we love you so much. Happy birthday, mom. But I, I, I won't lie to you, Mommy. I really do love you. Thank you, Mommy, for just being a great mother, a great person. Yeah. You're just, if, if, I don't even know the words to describe of how great of a mother you really are, Mom. You're such a great person. And I really love you. Thank you, Mama. It's the day of my mother. Um, a wonderful day. Let's thank God for this high life. Um, we don't have people like her most of the time in our lives. Uh, people who know God, people who uh, pray for us. You know, we need these people in our lives who can pray for us, who can tell us if we are wrong, who can take us to the right place if we are in the wrong place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to celebrate you while you are still alive. I don't want to wait when we have now put you in the casket and we start counting the good things that you've done for us when you can't hear us anymore or when you are looking from heaven. I want to celebrate you while you are still here so that when the Lord calls you to glory, you know how we, your children, value and appreciate you in our lives. I wrote something small here in my phone. I will mix languages. I just want to share my relationship with my mom, with all of you. You, so you could get to understand the kind of woman we have as a mother. Today we celebrate a woman amongst a woman who is Imbogodo. Words are not enough to explain or to express 
how I feel about you. I thank God for blessing me with a mother of your caliber. You are a rare gem to find. People like you are scarce. Your beauty is not only on the outside, but is also on the inside. You are indeed the true explanation of beauty is, but skin deep. You are not only my mother. To me, you are my friend, my BFF, my twin, my prayer partner. Skim some feed. Fanduka, we come together. Mommy, I celebrate you because of the unconditional love that you have towards us, your children. Thank you for the prayers that you have prayed for years for us. Thank you for things that you do for God on our behalf. Many years ago when the church started, I once asked you a question. Why do you love going to church to clean? You said, I'm doing it for you and your children and your children's children. Your works and your prayers are becoming visible. What you've prayed for, God has granted you. Your guidance and advices to us are valuable. For me personally, I don't think I would be the person I am without you in my corner, without you beside me, without you advising me. I always tell you, besides you, I don't have another. You're my mom, my mother-in-law, my grandmother, my twin sister. Everything you do, I pray that God help me to emulate and be the kind of woman that when heaven looks at, rejoices and celebrate. Each time I see you smile and I see your face, I am assured one more time that God loves me and God is there for me. Thank you for everything that you do on daily basis. Thank you for sharing yourself with us. Thank you for not looking at us and saying, no, these are children. Thank you for being your true self. I thank you for that one good day that you said yes to Balama Kananisa. Because if it wasn't for that yes, we wouldn't be here. We would never be known. Thank you for accepting him and allowing him to take you as his wife. Mommy, you are loved, appreciated, and most of all, highly favored of the Lord. My prayer for you is that you grow in grace, you advance in grace, you age gracefully, that promise that God has laid and given you, you should live long enough to see it manifest and multiply. But I see you. Basika hema. Muduru wabo Joanna. Mugigi wa Phineas na Flora. Stufuza skamen of God. Mafoshoza ka apostol. Suga matola salama katpogis. Are you mutashem? How you are baba girl? Are you are beautiful? Are you are beautiful? If they don't know, let me tell them. Let me announce. How ya baba girl? Bottom line, we are baba. Umushe. Inside and out. This is me and mommy on daily basis. Every day. Mommy, I love you. I love you. The woman you are means a lot to me. If I didn't have you, I'm very much sure 
that my world would have crumbled and I wouldn't be standing anymore. But I thank God to have a mother like you. I thank God for blessing me with a person like you. A person who teaches the truth and shows the truth. You are the true example that God exists and that God loves us. I thank you and always know that I love you and you are always enough for us. Love you, mommy. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the first thing that I can say is that uh, it's not easy to be a mother, uh, more especially when you have to be a mother of people that you don't even know. Uh, Mama, uh, let me say this. You have been a parent to the children that are hopeless. Uh, you have been a pillar to most families that were folly. You know, we have been learning from you a lot. And I've never seen you as a different person. The mark that is in your life, it's already visible to everyone. The footprints of your life, already they are marked also in our hearts. Uh, the generation that will come after us will know you. And the generation that will still come after the generation that is coming will still know you. Uh, it's when you are chosen by God. Because when you were born, God looked at you and he saw you worthy of something. He saw you worthy that you can carry this until your last breath. So I don't want to speak much. I just want to say to you, be strong for us as you have been strong. We are learning a lot. Uh, don't ever think uh, these people are not learning. We learn every day. We look at you from a distance and we say, we want to grow and be strong like our mother. Uh, I don't want to say a lot because already people have said a lot. Already people have expressed how they feel about you. But there's no words, according to, uh, to me, there's no words that can explain what kind of a person you are. Satan has tried this, that, but he has failed. You stood strong. If it was not you, I don't believe today we're supposed to be here. You know, there's, there was a time Satan was fighting. You know, I could see Satan with my two eyes trying to destroy the church. But the mother stood very strong and Satan ran away. So now I want to say thank you uh, and may this thank you go a long way. May you grow for us and Bo Peño and Bo AJ and their children and their children's children, they will still hear about you. Because what you have done, it cannot be undone for the rest of our lives. Thank you and we love you. You have raised uh, very strong children. Uh, because of your character. Uh, there are many families today here that are the witnesses of that. They are standing because of you. Many people that we see here, uh, them here today shining, looking beautiful, and looking handsome, it is because of you. And I, 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 I know, I know what has happened. So now we, are, we, are, we want to tell you that can you be strong for us? Can you be strong for us? Because the journey is still long. So thank you so much, Mama, and we love you. God bless.